start recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm hello, hello. For, Hi. Yeah. For everybody to connect. I see some uh, very familiar names. Super happy yes. to have you here again. <laughs> we know those people. <laughs> yes, our, our people. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, just wait for everybody to settle in. Okay, we're gonna wait maybe one minute, but I'm gonna already like start with a little bit of introduction so we don't waste uh, anybody's precious time. So as somebody might recognize me, I'm Clotilde from the Indie Pool Dance team and welcome to this uh, webinar on home polling where we're gonna answer a lot of questions that we already we have. We tend to have when we think about setting up our poll corner or poll room in our home because uh, more, uh, even more after what happened last year, we're trying to build our nest in a way that is uh, secure, safe, and to make our home environment also poll friendly and so we can train uh, whenever we want. Having said that, I'm gonna still let people in, but I want to just uh, give a, a little bit of uh, introduction uh, of our guests and our experts. So we have Marion as, uh, I mean, she's self-introducting herself, like her name comes before anything else. So uh, she's um, an amazing uh, uh, pole dancer. She's a pole star. She's an amazing instructor. And she also is the ambassador of our um, uh, other uh, our guests, so Lupit Paul, we have uh, today here with us to answer all the questions, it's Doc, the Lupit CEO, and without further ado, I'm going to give uh, the pin to him so he can start introducing Lupit Paul to you all and also give uh, a little bit of uh, introduction about the company and what they do. Is Doc, if and... you want to introduce. Oh, you have to unmute yourself. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, so, um, uh, yes, um, um, Lupit Paul, uh, as you all know, is, uh, uh, is a pole dance equipment uh, manufacturer. Uh, we started uh, quite a few years ago, so we have like more than 10 years of tradition already. But uh, the main thing is that uh, uh, we are uh, right now in, uh, 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 in uh, 2021, uh, and it is important that uh, we uh, we still we still follow we still uh, um, uh, I would say uh, make new products. You still uh, do uh, a lot of on. Uh, uh, technical questions that we have uh, every day. We uh, try to develop the, the best equipment for pole dancers. Uh, our goal is, uh, uh, is to make equipment which is safe as possible, which is, uh, of course, also trendy and a nice design, but uh, safety first, we always say. Also, because we don't want to end up like in those videos of like pole law, so we definitely don't want to hurt or injure ourselves. We already do like something that is already like challenging for our body. And also, uh, welcome to everybody that is joining right now. And I wanted to let you know that if you have any extra questions during this talk, please, please feel free to drop them in the chat so I can mm -hmm. ask directly um, to our guests. And, uh, but let's start from the beginning. So let's say that I'm buying a pole. Uh, so before uh, even like choosing one, uh, what do I need to pay attention when installing the pole in my place? So ceiling tips uh, uh, for safety and anything about the floor that I should keep in mind. Okay, uh, yes, that, that's very important. Basically, the, the place uh, where you want to install the home pole, home pole is a pressure pole, so it needs a certain, um, you know, uh, it, it produces a certain tension to the ceiling and to the floor. To the floor a little bit more because uh, you also add your own weight. 
uh, but then to the ceiling is only the pressure that you create uh, when you, let's say, uh, extend the pole to the level that grips between the, the, the two surfaces, so the, the flooring and, and uh, the ceiling. So it's very important uh, that we check the site. Uh, mm. Of course, first, uh, Marion would tell a little bit more about this, how much space you need around the pole. Mm. But uh, uh, what I heard from the pole dancers is, is, is about uh, 1.7 up to two meters is enough. Uh, but of course, some, some tricks are probably uh, need a little bit more space. Uh, so that's, that's about the space around. Uh, the height, of course, you need to check uh, because uh, our home pole goes up to three, uh, 330 uh, centimeters. Um, and, and, and that's it. Um, uh, and of course, uh, in the basic kit, you have a little bit less, but uh, with an extension, it goes to 330 centimeters. Okay. Um, the, the important thing also is um, uh, uh, after, after you, you, you know where you're going to install the pole, uh, you need to check the ceiling, you know, the, the strength of the ceiling and, and also you check uh, what, what is your flooring. It has to be level, uh, which is, uh, of course, the best. Sometimes it's not level, so uh, our pole is uh, taking a little bit of uh, unevenness of the flooring. Uh, so it, it can it can work also with that, but I would say I would recommend the, the flat, nice flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. so that, that's it. The, the, regarding the regarding the the ceiling is also a tricky thing. Now people are asking uh, what ceiling is the best. Of course, concrete is the best because it's the mm -hmm. you know it's a strong. It has a certain uh, weight, uh, mass. So you don't need to be be careful so much careful how you tension the pole, how much you tension the pole, uh, how much you tighten it, uh, and and if you're gonna damage uh, something on it. So it's 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 a concrete. But of course, most of the modern flats uh, they have uh, these false ceilings, which are <clears throat> sometimes done good, sometimes are not. So we need to check that somehow. Mm -hmm. so you look for the bar, you need for the support element, and, and then you just need to try to install the pole. Uh, otherwise, you will never know. But uh, try to find the support element and put the pole just uh, below, below it and, and, and check if it works. If it doesn't work, then you know you need you need to reinforce this ceiling um, mm. and and you know find the construction guy who can do that it's people are scared of it but it's not so i would say too big big thing to do ah okay okay that's interesting thank you for for saying that also because uh in my personal experience uh yes definitely like especially when it comes to fake ceilings it's really like you never want to go in that direction so you never actually try because obviously safety and also you don't want to make any holes inside of like you know your ceiling otherwise it's just <laughs> i have to fix everything again and maybe like you're uh, on uh, on rent so it's not even your own apartment so there's things that you are allowed to do and things that are not and uh, so sometimes uh, it's really hard to get the information right away about how your the house you live in is constructed so which walls are and so which part of the ceiling are the right ones are, are the fu fundamental ones in which it's safe to uh, put the pole on uh, but definitely it's something that it need need to be uh, extremely considered but also yeah thank you for saying that it's not like there's, there are solutions that we could find if uh, uh, we want to put the, the pole on um, a thinner uh, ceiling. Okay. If, if I, Mar can I say something? Yeah. Yes, I was about to ask. You. I would, yeah, I, will, I wanted to jump into the, the what you say is talk about the, the space first. Um, yeah. as, a, as a user, for, for first of all, I want to say uh, because of the lockdown and what happened, 
um, a lot of people have wanted to put their a pole in their house and wanted to do to, to pole dance. So I'm going to be very honest and I know it's the, the feeling of many people, even if there, there is not enough space. And we know because we did many mentorship, uh, some people, they, they find a way, even if they have like, they just don't even make one climb and they touch the ceiling or mm. maybe they're going to kick and they're going to touch the wall. I'm here in my house. This is my setting up. And you see this, I have to save the plant because I'm kicking everyone, but I don't care because I want to practice. So I actually, I managed to adapt my training for the space. For example, you were talking, you talk about some tricks takes more space. And then don't do them or I, go, I don't do them or I go higher and I try to do them higher or the lower. I think if you want to pull, you adapt with the space, especially in, the, in those periods that we cannot go to the studio. I think if we really want to pull, we find way. Of course, safety is like, I would say two meters is a, the, the perfect like distance from anything around you. But I know a lot of people have adapted to to the, to, the, to the space they have around. I think the more safety things, and I'm very happy uh, you say that about um, the, the fake ceiling, because I think for many years we were saying, or oh, me too, like, oh no, don't put a pole on the fake ceiling, it's not safe. So I'm very happy you say, no, 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 no. If you adapt it, it can, it, it, it can stay, depending how it's constructed and you make it check. And I think it's, it's better to check with uh, somebody quickly and then you're sure, you know, it's better to spend a bit of money of somebody check your ceiling and help you to put the poles clean and safe instead of guessing and or destroying your, your ceiling or destroying yourself because your pole gonna fall because yeah. it's not safe. So I think yeah. it's very, very good what uh, Istok say. And I think Istok, what you, you say about the home pole, it's uh, 3.30. Uh, meters, but there is also an option. I'm sure you're going to talk about this later. Um, there is also an option to have a design pole for your house that you can have fixed. In case this pole is too petite, for example, here I couldn't put, I have a stage because my ceiling is very high. I have six meters almost or more. And so I decide to put a stage because it's easier, but I could have a fixed, uh, like custom pole. So there is yeah. an option always and loop it over all this also yeah that's amazing uh, actually thank you for introducing that because also that's something that we want to take in mind instead of like adding up you know the extension and the extension it's way mm -hmm. easier just to ask for a custom pole mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. then uh, thank you sir for dropping the question i think that maybe with the, the introduction of this next question maybe we can um, drop on that so, uh, Isdok, uh, why would you say uh, to not over tighten uh, the pole when you're installing it? Um... Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, why not over tighten? Be because uh, there's like mm -hmm. several, several things that can happen. So if you over tighten the pole, that means that the pole will produce so much more force that you actually need it to stay in the place. So, uh, the, the pole is constructed to to make it like uh, uh, so. I would say normal force to the to the ceiling would be between 100 and 200 kilos. So these are uh, these are uh, optimal. Uh, I would say would be 150 for the bearings and for the spin. Of course, if you do a little bit more, uh, I would say heavy tricks or maybe your you, you, you feel safer, then you tension it a little bit more. But that would say up to 200 kilos. Of course, I know it's hard to measure at home. How, how do I do it? But it's about a little bit more about the feeling then, then, then you still, uh, then you still uh, feel that the pole turns well, but it's, it's a little bit more like um, hard, harder installed. So, uh, if you over tighten the pole, then you can, of course, ruin your ceiling. If if there's a pole ceiling, then you or the bearing, or oh. the bearing. Yeah, that's the next. I did. That's the next. <laughs> so, uh, or uh, so you can do. Uh, uh, so you 
you you you can do that and also the bearings will not the not uh withstand that much force as you can apply mm. on on it because bearings are made to spin well and to be of course uh, light enough and to you know everything has to be balanced in a pole mm -hmm. so uh, uh not not to go over 200 kilos otherwise it will it will go slower so the spin will get slower and at the 300 kilos eventually it's it's going to be a problem at 400 kilos it's going to break so that's it okay uh, okay, so and, and also, and also, there's one one thing which is very important. I'm gonna show you. Uh, uh, if if you can imagine, this is the pole. If you yeah. apply so much force on this pole, then it will bend. Bend. Bend, and and if if you apply a little bit more as a pole dancer, lat lateral force on this one, then mm. it will go. It will bend more, and it will lose a grip. On the top and the, uh, and on the on the floor and it can fall, so I would say not over tighten, but of course not to lose too much because you you need a certain force to create a drag uh, uh, yeah. on the surface. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Thank you. So maybe the questions that Sahar asked, uh, it's the opposite. I'm not sure. I'm gonna read it and maybe we can figure it out. So when I want to do spin on static pole in one direction, my pole start open, what should I do? Uh, so Sahar, maybe you can clarify on what type of pole do, do you have? Because maybe like I'm, I'm not 100% sure if uh, like how to start open. So it's kind of like, it, does it go on spin or mm. what do you mean? I think the, po the pole unlocked, right Sahar? I yes. think she's... She it means like when she when she start to to do a like a throw like a, a yeah. dynamic spinning. I'm sure yes. that's what Sarah mm -hmm. wants to mean. The pole yes. opened on the spinning mode. Maybe because okay. you have this you have the screw one or you have the fast locking system. No 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 curve one. Okay. This well, is my pole. Oh. Uh, actually, um, my pole is home pole, and I just it's like this. Let me show you. It's like this. And when I want to do a static a spin on a static, my pole in one direction, when I want to do a spin, it's just a start open. And I just, um, oh, everywhere I just try with that, but any time it just goes open. Okay. Mm. So is okay. stuck. I would I would probably imagine that the pole would get loosened. Uh, that you mean by open, probably. Uh, yes. So if it, if it gets like uh, that, means that we are losing the pressure between you know the the, the ceiling and and the floor. No, 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 no. I think she mean no, no. I think she means that when she start to uh, when she they, she start to do a dynamic on static, it goes into spinning mode. Oh yes, yes. That if that and open and suddenly open. If I do it a lot of time, it open and just fall. Oh, oh, what do you mean about that's, opening? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That, ah. that, that, that was my point. Okay. Okay. So I would say that uh, the only problem is that uh, those four screws uh, where you have to block the nut. Mm. Uh, you know that the pole would. Uh, each pole has has this element inside, and this is the thread. So mm. then, uh, let me see if I have something here to show. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to you have to screw very yeah. well those four screws. Those four screws, you need to go around to to check if they're tightened enough, like two times. And first, you 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 even them like you you screw them. Uh, and then you have to tighten them all the way as you can. But the trick is that uh, so, some people, they get like uh, a little bit uh, nervous with that and they don't use the hex key, right? So you need to be mm. patient and then, you know, put the, the hex key all the way with the shorter part and, and then tighten all four screws or two screws, where I don't know which version, version she has. Uh, and once you do that, the pole will block against 
uh, loosening. So that's that's the main part and the main thing that you need to consider when you're installing the pole. So right mm. now, what you have, what she has to do or you have to do, is that uh, you know uh, take away uh, or unscrew the the mask and get to these four screws, tighten them really well, try couple of times that you, you make sure that they're tightened and the pole will be set. No, no more problem on, on, on a static. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for clarifying that. Um, so um, is there anything that you wanna add for extra stability uh, with um, loop it home pole when if somebody chooses to install a loop it uh, pole in their home? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, it's very important that uh, you check the height calculator. So uh, it comes with the, uh, it comes with each package, but then you also can can look at it uh, on our uh, website, uh, loopitpol.com. There is like uh, everything, uh, and it you means that you choose the right parts in the right order. So you go from below uh, and and up with so first bigger parts so that's part b part c and d and so it, it, it goes like that and okay. uh, when you when you are there uh, uh, if, if you use all the like on the calculator height calculator you will get like the best possible configuration of the of, of the parts and then you need to put your pole in a vertical position. It's very important. So, uh, you know, if it's in a vertical position, then we can uh, be sure that the grip to the surfaces is is maximized. So it's it's so. Mm. Important. And then uh, we come again to this uh, proper tension of the pole. Oh, uh, it's something that is really hard to explain and. Uh, there, there is nothing really that would help us, uh, uh, the one who is installing, basically that would help to, to know exactly how much tension did you put. And you need a little bit uh, a feeling for Feeling, yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you tighten your pole uh, when you're grabbing on the pole part of the part A, uh, you tighten it with your hand and when you feel it's like really tight and you shake it a little bit and when you feel it tight a little bit more and shake it and then you will see and try you need to try a couple of times i know it takes some time to do that but it's better to to take this time at the beginning uh, mm -hmm. and, and and then you play safe on, on the pole can i but, can i add something is talk can i add yes. something to this because um there is also something that sometimes we talk a lot about ceiling and the, the, the down, but uh, because it happens to, to me, like somebody contact me uh, that last week, the, the, about tightening, what happened, what Sar was saying, like she didn't tight those four screw. There is a problem with tightening something is the middle part, the, the joint. Sometimes I think this one, people tight it too much Okay. that they break, they break the, the thing and then they cannot, when they try to dismount the pole, they cannot take out. And so for example, this woman, she tried to take it out with a drill and of course she fucked the piece because <laughs> the, the drill went and destroyed the metal. So what you don't, the, the, as much as uh, Eastock was saying, you tell me if I'm wrong Eastock, huh? to really tight the four screw of the down part to fix, the join in the middle that link the two piece of the pole, you don't have to go like Coco. You just go and when you feel the resistance, mm. it's, it. it's there, it's safe. Yeah, you don't have to go and press because the day you want to take it out and if the pole is there for yes. a year with the grip, yes. with the dust and everything, yeah. you will be struggling big time yeah. to take off or you will fuck the screw and then you have to change everything. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, before answering Cristina's question, uh, I wanted to ask you, so for, is there any particular tool that you have to have when uh, installing the pole? So except everything that comes, I guess, in the package, which are definitely the, 
the little um, tools and uh, uh, brugole, I don't know the, the terms in English, the little keys. Uh, is there anything in particular that you need to have when installing the pole? Or, and also, we're going to move uh, on the removal part of the, how to remove safely the, the pole without damaging the, the ceiling and the, the floor. So about the, the tools that we need, actually. Okay, so yes, all the all the tools that you need for uh, installing the pole are are in the package. the The only thing that you need uh, is the water level, which mm -hmm. you already have uh, on on your smartphone probably. So mm -hmm. you, you can download some apps that you can allow you to to, to see uh, uh, if if it's vertical or not. So I would say the only thing you need is this, and of course, the, the tape measure or the laser measure. So just to measure the ceiling. Even if you don't have this, uh, you can go and try to put the pieces together uh, to have this couple of like two or three centimeters uh, gap uh, once you, you put all the pieces together so you can tighten the pole safely and, and that's fine. So mm -hmm. I would say tape measure, and the water level extra. Mm. All, all the rest mm. is, is in the package. And maybe uh, maybe your neighbor or your your somebody that can help you. It's always <laughs> nice to connect. I need to install my pole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can can nice you come? <laughs> <laughs> to make uh, friends. <laughs> to make and, friends. Yeah, to connect. <laughs> So uh, just to answer Christina, so uh, Christina, so I'll make sure that also me, like a noob, <laughs> I, I understand uh, what we were talking before, because again, I think she's asking the same thing we were talking about, you know, about mm -hmm. the difficulty. She's asking, uh, there's a bigger issue of ceiling being lowered and a bigger difficulty of even finding an apartment. So if you don't have a concrete ceiling, but I want to install my pole anyway, what's the, what is the safest way to do so without risking damaging the ceiling or the pole of myself? So we say that it's totally possible to uh, put it even on a fake um, ceiling as I guess, as long as it follows certain uh, uh, specifics uh, and to check the specifics, you need to talk to a constructor or your landlord probably. Tell me, Marion, yeah. Yeah, no, I want to ask this talk because I see sometimes people uh, putting a piece of wood or yeah, a, piece of, uh, mm -hmm. a piece of carpet to, yeah. to do you recommend this or not? Mm -hmm. yes, it, it's totally legit. As soon as it, it, it uh, makes it stronger, it's, it's okay. So I would say, uh, yes, uh, uh, I, I prefer because of you know the the feeling and it, it it looks better to try to support this false ceiling if it's not strong enough from the beginning of course if you need to support it you, you support it from inside mm. uh, anybody can can uh, can send us email and ask about all this uh, we have a couple of nice renders and <clears throat> nice pictures to show how how it's done Maybe that would be a good guideline for a construction mm. worker or somebody who, who does it. Uh, but I would say you can do anything to whatever needed to uh, to reinforce or to make it stronger, not to to move, to lift, or to damage it. So mm. uh, some people would take a plywood and and you know screw it to the top. But I would say ply, plywood. If you do it, then you take like one meter by one meter. Uh, that would cover uh, normally. Normally, on the four ceilings, there are like construction elements which are like sixty centimeters in between each other. Okay. So, uh, and, and so, if it's one meter, I would say you cover normally. You would you would then cover from uh, below. You would cover two support elements at a time. So try to find the support elements and, and do it. Uh, uh, mm. yeah. Makes sense. Mm. I see. Thank you. Um, OK, so let's talk about how to remove uh, a pole safely. Maybe I'm moving. Maybe I just want to, I just need it to take it down for reasons. And uh, or just I have to move it out because I have guests 
or whatever. So how should I take it down without uh, damaging anything, the ceiling, the floor? Um... Okay, uh, so taking it down is, uh, is, is a reverse order of, install, of installation. So you just do, you just watch the installation video and do it in reverse. But if you install the pole a couple of times, then, then you know. But uh, of course, if, if the pole is up and running like for a year or two years, mm -hmm. it, it could happen that, you know, the, this rubber part would, I would say a little bit like a glue on, 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 on the top or then uh, it's, it just don't pull it straight down because, mm -hmm. uh, but you try on one side, like you, one side and slowly remove the upper part. If it stays on the top, uh, all the rest, I don't see uh, a problem. It, you, you shouldn't have any, any other issues. Or those uh, couple of uh, like two or four uh, little screws, uh, just uh, when you're taking, uh, when you're loosening them, just you make sure that the hex key is new or new or uh, not damaged and you put all, all the way in the screw you put your hex key and then carefully uh, um, yes unscrew them uh, mm. to, and then of course then then you relieve the pressure on the pole and take it off we never know what kind of paint is on the top if there is a paint or it's a wood or just a concrete it depends on the surface which was uh which is so we, we cannot control that obviously mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, when you see it's a, like a fresh paint would be more uh likely to to glue to the to the uh, rubber surface on the on the disc yeah like to glue to, to this part yes yeah yes so yeah if it the paint because it has to be sticky otherwise the safety yeah. wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be safe so it yes. has to be sticky it, it goes off normally if the paint is dry and everything but if you move into a new apartment the paint is still mm -hmm. a little soft and then it will create like it will be like a glue but it's important that uh, if, if you do that if if some a layer of the paint goes off then you have to paint it back there is no other solution yeah, I and mean, can I say can I say something yes. also? I, I think uh, what I would also add to this is like for the screw especially because I have experienced this myself and I see a lot of people um, treat your pole like it's an investment. I think don't rush into screw and unscrew. Don't don't do it like okay whatever because at some point it becomes something like oh I unscrew and I screw and I don't really pay attention. And you fuck the screw and then you cry because you cannot unscrew or rescrew your ball and you have mm -hmm. to pay again. So I think it's it's like we're investing in something, a material that it's first of all for our pleasure and also um, for our safety reason. And like just don't rush in as in general in life, don't rush in in taking care of your your, what you're doing especially with those screw because how many and you know I'm sure what I'm talking about uh, Clotilde and also Istok how many people say I cannot unscrew my pole yes how many times you screw without really having the intention and being focused on this and you just like did it wrong and you fucked the screw or the key was not right in the right position to, and you keep on pushing and and then it's and then you have to change the piece because just because yeah. you, you do it without really paying attention. So make sure yeah. every time it's something like it takes literally a few seconds, but if you do it well, the pole can last forever. Yes. And also I would maybe add that if there is a ruined screw and you see it, don't put it back. Call us, mm -hmm. we'll send you the screw. Uh, in, in, in a day or two, you will get them in, in a normal uh, like uh, letter or envelope and, and you will get the new screw, which is not the cost at all. And, mm. and, and that's very important that when you reinstall the pole to check the screws and the hex key, uh, because we, we, we can supply that in a day or two. So that, 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 that 
don't rush and put something that is ru already ruined back to the place because then you will probably screw it back, but when you will have to unscrew it, the hex key or the screw will uh, get ruined and you will it will stay there forever. And then of course the drill and then the, the saw and stuff like that would, would, would need to, uh, to have. So that, that's my advice. Okay, uh, so before going in to answer Sahar other two questions, I wanted to ask about the um, maintenance of the pole uh, specifically, because we're talking about, you know, maybe uh, screws or parts that obviously when moving a lot and taking up and down the pole can get, you know, damage uh, or they can get old or also maybe the rubber part uh, in time might be become uh, less uh, grippy, less rubbery. So uh, about, um, can you tell us something about the long-term maintenance and also about the changing temperatures? Uh, does it influence the pull and the stability? I know I'm mixing a lot of things, so take the time to, um, <laughs> to answer these. Uh, for me, they're kind of like, tied together so uh, because of the change in temperature like each season eventually the pole will need a maintenance system I guess so checking maybe the lower and the upper part and uh, so how do we check it what and what we need to replace and uh, how long does these parts last or when we have to how do we check that we have to change something okay first of all uh... Cleaning, cleaning of the pole yeah. is more important than you think. So uh, if you use like a glass cleaner that, that they, they, they contain uh, uh, some, some substances which, which, which are not good for, uh, for, crawl, uh, for, for parts that are uh, uh, galvanized, it can get uh, if it gets into the system where the bearings are, you can get rust. So uh, I, I have to check how, how it's called, but uh, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, it's called... Uh, it's ammonium hydroxide cleaning agent. So mm. this normally it's a, it's a glass cleaner. So don't use that. You better use uh, normal, just plain water and, and rub it a little bit more. If not that, pure alcohol is also better and the best probably uh, to clean all the surfaces. Uh, you if you want to maintain the rubber parts, um, you, and, and, and you feel it's like it, it's getting dry. You can refresh it really easy, but you need to use the, 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 the nitro diluent, diluent which is uh, how we call it. It's it's also used in a, in a in a color uh, thinner, like it's it's a col color thinner. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is you go with the cotton clothes, uh, rub the surfaces, and it get stick as hell, sticky as hell again. So you're again on a safe side. The rubber that we use. Uh, on our uh, on our uh, parts, uh, yeah. where it's important to to stick to the surface. It's a really good quality natural rubber, and and uh, and they, they use this rubber the the, the formula for uh, uh, you know uh, to transport uh, for transport belts in 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 the coal mines. So it's oh. really good quality. You, you will it's not. You will not ruin it uh, very easy, so you can use it forever. But it it will need refreshment every maybe couple of months. Yeah. Mm, okay. Just to so, just to leave it sticky, you know, like, like to to have it sticky. So uh, again, to clarify, we need to rub it like the uh, rub the rubber part and clean it uh, every time we take down the the pole with these. Uh, Nitro, can you say that again? Nitro diluent, diluent. yeah. Nitro diluent, okay. Uh, and um, 
Can I say something? I use uh, yes. for my, my own experience. So I have the stainless steel and we will talk about the different um, uh, metal after, but it's my favorite. And, uh, and I use uh, only, uh, actually not even water. I use only this. Yeah. But because it's, it's my own pole. Of course, in a studio, maybe to disinfect and everything, I will do the alcohol maybe to disinfect the, because other people are using, but because this one, uh, only me pull on it. I, I do uh, only with a microfiber and that's it. I don't even use alcohol or water. Yep, for my microfiber is, is great. Yeah, yeah. And I like it because I, alcohol, sometimes I feel it's, I don't know, it makes a weird reaction. And also be careful because the one that used product that they are like, like the cleaning of the, of the windows and everything, I don't know what's shitting inside this. And sometimes you touch your you touch your face after you it's very close to your to your patatina part. So I don't think yeah. it's very very like healthy. So maybe use water or pure alcohol or just if it's your home pool, it's you and once a week, maybe you disinfect with once a week, like when I finish my my week, I disinfect everything with alcohol to clean it well. But most of the time, I use nothing else than the microfiber. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. There, there's also, uh, so to, just to continue, uh, to maintain the, the proper spin, it's good to lubricate uh, the, the bearings. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we are preparing the video, uh, which will be on our side very soon, uh, how to lubricate uh, all, all the pores that we have. It's really easy. We, we, we already have some kind of, you know, pictures and, but it's not, it's not really something to, to show uh, officially. But if, if somebody needs anything, you can call, contact me on eastizttok.lupitpole.com. So I will okay. send, send them like a couple of pictures how to do it. But it's very important to lubricate. Don't lubricate uh, with, uh, it's good that you use just the oil, like machine oil. No, not, not, not coconut water, not coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. just oil or, or, uh, or liquid grease. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. don't use some kind of sprays for anti-rust, stuff like that, because it's, it's going to dry. It's going to eventually dry your... Uh, it, the, it, at the beginning, it... The, the, the bearings will run nice and fast, but then later they will get dry and mm. they, they will not spin good as you can expect. So that's also something that you need to depend on uh, how dusty is your place, how, but, but let's say every three months is good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, now that the next thing that you asked me uh, in, in the question is, uh, uh, regarding the this this differences uh, because of the outside temperature, how environment uh, is yeah. uh, like the the, the, the climate uh, will will influence our space and, and the pole and everything. Well, that's a tricky one because it's all again depends on how your the building is constructed and everything. But for sure, uh, air conditioning. Heating, uh, uh, outside temperature, humidity, all these factors, they all uh, influence the difference between the, I mean, the, the pole height. So the difference between ceiling and, uh, and, and, and then the floor. So um, it, I cannot say exactly uh, what would influence on what, but but you need to, to see uh, uh, your space uh, to monitor it and check every time. If you feel that this is happening, you check every time before, uh, before uh, practice, before dancing, you have to check your pole for stability. If you feel it's loosened, take your time, take the mess down, uh, you know, loosen the pole and then tighten it back and then, of course, you have to secure it with those four knots, and it will work. But th there is no um, 
there is no formula for that. So mm -hmm. you cannot say, but this is happening. People, they have yeah. like wooden, wooden uh, construction and wood, you, you know, it breeds. So it changes in time. Yeah. And, uh, so you need to take care. We have a solution which is coming out, but we already have it about two years, but we didn't launch it. There's the upper part, mm -hmm. the upper part, which is a spring operated. We call it automated uh, vertical force adjustment system, but it's like, basically it's a spring inside, which will uh, react. Take, react, it will take this difference into the spring. So it will, pole will automatically get stretch or get longer. Wow. And, and it, it, it works amazingly. We already sent some parts uh, to the people that have problems with that. Uh, of course, because they were first, they got them mostly free of charge. But, <laughs> but now it's gonna be our, our like extra uh, product, uh, which will solve this, this problem. Yeah, it's, it's, a nice. good, it's a good yeah. one. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Thank you for introducing that. Um, so I just want to stop uh, this uh, conversation to ask uh, the, the question from Sahar. Um, so is it safe to use uh, uh, home pole for studios too? Uh, their studio height is uh, two meters and 90 centimeters, so almost three meters. And how much long I can open the lower part of the pole? Oh, okay. Uh, the lower part of the pole can be opened as as long it, as long as it, there, there is a mark yeah, on this part. So when the cover comes, it, it, you will see this um, uh, uh, rubber ring. So you 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 you. You, you don't need, I mean, you, you don't want to see this part. So there is a cover that comes uh, over it. And if mm -hmm. you see this part, when, when you installed it, uh, it's not good. So okay. it has to be covered with a, with, with a, um, with a mask. Okay. So that's about how much you can use the, the thread. Uh, what was the other question? Uh, is uh, the, the home pole, the home pole yes. used in the studio. Yes. If the home pole okay. can be used in the studio. It, well, of course, theoretically it can be uh, because mm -hmm. of all these, um, all, all those uh, adjustments or safety things that you need to do, it's home pole, it's more delicate. It has more parts. It has. It, it, you need to, you know, make sure that it, it will stay on place. It's not fixed. It's a pressure pole. I would say, uh, don't leave this to the students. If you're mm -hmm. using, it, if you're using it in the in the studio, make sure that before every practice, you personally check each pole for stability. That's that's one thing. Or you can have a uh, upper part with, uh, with here is our like uh, holes, so you can fix the upper part, mm. of the ceiling, so that then then you're safe. But I would say uh, it's much better uh, our our studio poles are much better solutions uh, because they are one piece or two piece poles and they stay on place, they're very safe, and, and uh, we have this uh, spring system already integrated in them. So there is basically uh, much less risk to the pole to fall. Okay, uh, thank you. I hope this helps you, Sahar. And uh, okay, perfect. So, uh, La Laura Van, I'm going to come back to your question later because I wanted to also have as much as uh, Marion's experience too for the next uh, 10 minutes and unfortunately she has to, to leave. So I want to move uh, a little bit uh, on the materials. So how the material that you loop it poles differ from other brands and uh, 
Also, maybe you can uh, add something about the difference between uh, each uh, finishes of the that we could choose. So brass, uh, powder coated, steel, etc. Is stock? Yes. Yeah, it's stock. Uh, yeah. Uh, so first, I want to point out that, that we use quality materials. Where we, that's, this is our first uh, step when, when choosing the new material for the pole or, or what we have chosen in the past is that we choose high quality materials. Uh, we are using like a, a, a steel and, and, and the brass and we're using stainless steel and we're using uh, certain plastics on our course, but they're all uh, verified, they're tested, and we, we, we do our best to choose the best uh, materials. That's, that, that, but, but then this is not uh, the only thing that, even though if you use the best materials, there's no guarantee that they will withstand the forces that, that they should. So, how to use it is very important. So uh, what, once you use any material, it's important that you know the specifications of each of these materials and how much this material can withstand. What is the breaking force? What is the, uh, the working force that would still uh, do not affect the, the structure. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we design, in a design process, we calculate every vital part for strength. So it's for working and breaking load limits. Uh, according to the latest mechanical engineering. So we, uh, we use, uh, uh, there's like a, couple of softwares that we're using when, when we design the, the new stuff. And uh, they also allow us to calculate the, the breaking forces and how the material bends and all the flexibility and stuff like that. So we use all of this. This, this is something that we can assure. Uh, mm -hmm. the, you, you need to know that pole dancing equipment is still new stuff. So there is no real standard uh, for that. IPSF mm. is working a lot on it and they're trying, but it's really hard to, uh, to find anything that we could compare to, uh, mm -hmm. to make a, I would say standard tests. So that's why we have our own uh, testing uh, procedures. So uh, we, we, we we have to try all the parts and all the assemblies uh, when we design them uh, by ourselves. And we do the test report and uh, uh, there are a couple of mechanical engineers in the company in Lupit that uh, vouch for that. So we check each other and we, we see if we, some, somebody does it wrong, then we correct it. So this is our safety measure uh, and the design process. And uh, I think that we're doing it really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if I can add something towards the different material as a user, I think it's very like, it's a bit like, you know, nutrition. It's everybody is different. The, your skin is reacting different to every product. You know, you have some people, oh, it's so slippery. And mm -hmm. actually I'm going to be very sticky. Uh, it depends where you're living because you cannot say to somebody that lives in Australia and somebody that is in Finland, to, like the, the product doesn't react the same. The person depends also of what you're eating. And it's many, many factors that can, can change the way you grip, the way you, the product that you use for showering can change yeah. the, like can affect your skin. So you're gonna get slippery. And it's not the, the problem of the pole is because you're using maybe chemicals on your skin that make your skin dry, but it's yeah. not the pole problem. Um, as a personal, uh, in, for my personal use, I'm, um, I'm a super fan of stainless steel. Um, I performed and tried, I think, all of them. So I don't really, uh, I'm not a really fan. I think my least choice would be the coat because I think it's, uh, I really like to, to, to use the contact with the pole and I think it 
kind of limitate my contact because it's too sticky. And on my hands, I often get very sweaty, which mm. I never sweat and I get sweaty. So I don't really yeah. like that one. I think I'm a bit limited in my movement. Um, after that, I will go the brass. And it's uh, interesting because I was before in Milan Pol Dance Studio where we have only brass pole. Yeah. I would say brass I, I, I are my least one after uh, after the, the coat one because I think brass, especially in winter country, is a very alive material. And when it's cold, the metal is cold. Yeah. When it's warm, so it's very cool for warm country, but for for cold country, I think often the brass is like bouncing on my on my bones. So I feel very aggressed by the grass. <laughs> this is my own experience. Um, depend. If I'm in Australia, I really enjoy it because it's a bit more grippy. But in general, I'm not in Australia or in, in Brazil. So I think it's very aggressive for my bones. And uh, chrome, um, there is something about chrome um, that I really like. I, I like chrome, but what I would say is more why I like the stainless steel. I think it's more noble and mm. I, I feel it's more reacting because it's not only the metal, how we react in the, in the air, is how we react with my own body. I feel it's more like we're connecting better. Energetically, I don't know whatever you want to think about it, but I, react, I connect better with the energy and the material of the stainless steel. I think it's more, it's more warm to me because chrome is actually, tell me if I'm wrong, I, it's stuck, but it's, a, it's a, a, like a metal that is bath in a bath of chrome, right? It's not, mm -hmm. chrome is no. not, Normally, the piece. normally yes, but not lupid pole. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, uh, lupid pole. Uh, just you just gave me the, the yes uh, something to talk about. It's lupid pole has developed a special uh, treatment of uh, material to get uh, chrome on the surface. So basically, our chrome poles are not plated they're not uh, like um, uh, like normal chrome that you can get these chips and this thin layer of chrome on it we have the whole thing the whole uh, tube or the bar treated specially so uh, what we do uh, we of course i cannot tell you because it's a, it's a company secret but uh, i can assure you there is zero nickel in our chrome poles which nobody else has. So there is no allergies. And uh, mm -hmm. what we do, we, we treat the surface to the level uh, uh, of this uh, steel alloy that we, we specially got uh, ordered. Uh, we, but then after that, we treat uh, this uh, surface to the point that only chrome particles from this alloy would stay on the surface. So that's why this is still chrome, but it's not a chrome like, so it will not rip off, it will not, not get chip, like uh, it, it will not fall out, but it's, it, it will look, it will basically, it looks like a stainless steel, but it's a chrome. So, uh, so we got like this chip free and allergy free chrome surface that we're really proud of. We didn't have uh, so much chance to, to advertise this, but it's something that Lupit Paul de was developing for about three years. And uh, now we are out with it uh, for close to two years now. So it's really amazing. And I'm, I'm, I'm personally very, very proud of it. Mm. Okay, and also I wanted, to, I, I wanted to say something about, because often uh, from the people I hear, oh, I. I I don't like this kind of pole or I don't like that kind of pole because it's slippery. Well, the pole itself, it's like, the pole is slippery anyway. And sometimes it's like, oh, it's so new, it's slippery. No, it depends where you put it. What is the atmosphere around? What is the weather outside in your house? How the isolation? There is so many factors, how your body is at the moment. So it's not only the product itself is the product and it doesn't, it, of course, the, it's metal. So metal is kind of an alive matter. 
but at the same time there is many other factors that can influence this so it's not oh i don't like that kind of fall or i don't like that product because it is like this no mm -hmm. project a bit bigger than the tube it's so many things that will that will change and also if you sometimes you know you, I, I heard for many years oh i like uh, i prefer this than that but you know when you are traveler instructor or performer or whatever you will be and also if you take workshops in other places in the world it will not be your pole at home where you're so used to it is da, 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 da. no sometimes and before in the past where it was even more eclectic we were coming to a studio and you have to teach on 50. Yes. <laughs> And you cannot be like, oh, no, this is not my pole. I don't like it. Yeah. No, you adapt and you do it mm -hmm. and, you, and, you, and it's OK. And sometimes, yeah, it's a bit more slippery or less, but you also build adaptation. This is what you men do, right? So yeah. um, so like go a bit beyond the it's not what I what I used to, you know, I sleep in my bed. And so you're not going to sleep anywhere else because you only like the, your bed. No. We adapt. And this is the same with practicing pole. And when you, especially when you switch from one brand to another, you're like, oh mm -hmm. no, my other, my other was better. No, you know the other better. Yes. But it doesn't mean it's better in terms of quality and specificity. But you will get used to it and then, and then voila. Mm. Yeah. Um, so before uh, I guess you that you have to leave, I just wanted to so, maybe ask yeah, yeah. you. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your final recommendations, especially for beginners that want to buy a pole or set up their uh, home pole space, according to you, and also maybe the use of crush mats or um, grips again on the on the pole mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. the choice itself of uh, the pole, so the size, the, um, the material you already said it more or less, I think, um, mm -hmm. so your final uh, tips and suggestions for beginners? Well, so for the grip, um, I'm going to be like, I'm going to tell my experience because it's the one that I, so I used to use uh, dry hands a lot. I don't like liquid choke uh, for several reasons. And uh, because first of all, it doesn't really work because I don't have really sweaty hands, but I just need a, like to feel them pretty dry. And, um, and I also don't want to look like a white and snowball when I'm, doing things you know so i i used to to use dry hands but i have to say that um since the lockdown i only and exclusively use this and i mm -hmm. love it i love it i really like i stopped using dry hands actually i use only the Can the patch from Loop. Us? yeah okay okay is the patch from loop it you you mm -hmm. can uh, order and i just do this and I put all, even I just swipe my pole once and uh, I'm really like, I, I adore it. And uh, I have been in lockdown winter and summer now. So I can tell you the whole season because it can change during seasons. And I use only this. And sometimes if it's very cold, sometimes, you know, a tiny bit of eye tag that I never put in my hand, just a bit on the side. And I just put on the part yeah. that I want. But I mainly, even on my skin, I use this and I'm, super happy with it and it goes fast with this you just swipe and it goes away it doesn't stay so this is would be my recommendation for grips uh regarding your question about um what uh kind of pole i would say like for example i'm a stainless steel but some people say no i'm a chrome one so this is a bit like you and your feeling um, I, I use here the, in my, my home, I have the, the stage. I use short leg, but some people like long legs. I'm a huge fan of short legs. And it's funny because this morning I was doing a class with Aditi. She's in India and she has a lot of products from Lupit. And she say, wow, your stage doesn't move even if it's short leg. But you know, I know this stage better than my, than my own body. <laughs> like. I know it perfectly. So when I'm moving, I think we're moving together. So I don't know, I, I really like the, and it doesn't go up and down because I think I, I spent so many hours on this little guy that 
I know exactly and he know exactly how I'm going to go. I think it's like kind of love communication. So I don't, I don't know, but she's like, how he doesn't move. I'm like, and I go fast, but I think it's very, but because I getting used to it, I'm spending hours and hours. So of course I, I know, and probably the Nepal know me also. And the other studio, I have a longer, so I have a, a longer pole. It's a custom pole in a different, but I fucked the bearings by my husband because we, we tied it too much at the beginning. He didn't know. And I think he, he tied it too much. And, uh, and of course I play and I was pushing on it because I wanted to, I wanted to make it spin. And I think we, we damaged the, the bearing, tying too much the pole. So we have to replace the bearing, but he's very lazy to do it. So I have to keep on pushing. So I have to keep on damaging. So that was my petit uh, thing that I have to change. And regarding, uh, you, because you say for beginners, for beginners or non-beginners, because some people, they really want to change their material. Um, mm -hmm. what, what, I, what I love about, so my, my uh, story with Lupit has started since the very beginning of my career and their career in the pole industry. And uh, from the beginning, I, you know, I'm, you know me, uh, Clotilde, I'm a very like intuition person and I have to feel it. And since the beginning, I was like, I, I believe in those people because I don't get myself involved in things like without thinking very much about it. I'm very like this. So that's why I don't like sometimes when I take part of one collaboration, I'm, I know why I'm doing it and I'm not doing it for just the magic of the fairy of doing it. No, I'm doing it because I believe and I really believe in the, the team of Lupit for the product for the, the, the quality of the service. If they don't answer you uh, today, when you send the email this morning, it's okay. It's because they're receiving a lot, especially in this period of time, they're receiving a lot, but I can tell you they are on track and they, they're trying to make everybody um, like satisfied. They really like, if you need um, help, they will always like, and I don't say that because this talk is here. I will, I, this is my way of speaking about them all the time since more than over 10, almost 10 years now. Oh my God, we're not getting <laughs> young. And, uh, and also because beyond that, like, as you can see, his stock is like, and everybody in this sector, they're like expert and they are very reliable people. And also, and this is very important for me, and you know this, uh, they're amazing humans. Uh, so they don't want that, I don't feel, that's what I always like about them. If they won't do it, Paul, they would do something else. They're not like, oh, we have to, to manage the industry and to be the leaders and no, because they could do, and they do many other things in the engineering part or commercial or whatever. So Paul is not, it's one part and it's a big part of the, what they do, but it's not the only thing. And that's what I like. It's very an open minded on other businesses and all the products and and they are amazing humans, that's it. Like this is so important to me. Amazing humans that do amazing jobs. So voila, no, it's true. Like I have, I have to say it and the whole team is like this. And uh, yeah, it's important to say and that's why I decided to, to put my image uh, because it's a big commitment and uh, because it's, uh, it's engaging the safety of people and the like the satisfaction of a customer. So you put your, like I put my reputation on that, you know, and I 100% happy about my decision. And I will keep on, as soon as they, they like, they want me <laughs> and I'm not too looking too crappy <laughs> for the image. I will be like spreading. And even after that, I was spreading the, the, like, if you want to buy a pole, buy loop it. Even when I don't pull anymore, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank um, you, Marian. Uh, just want to say uh, something. Thank you, Marian, for these nice words. And uh, yeah, but we we learn from you, Marian, a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, uh, we learn to to listen to pole dancers. We learn that th this is very important when you create the product. It's just not pure engineering, but it's also uh, like wishes and experience from people that are do really doing it. 
So uh, <clears throat> we listen to all the community all the time. And I'm, I'm really, really happy if I get uh, any kind of opinion, uh, criticism. Uh, uh, and anything. I'm the queen. I'm the queen of this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but e even even if if sometimes it it it, it hits you hard, but then uh, you think about it, you, you you where where else can we get it? When where, where else we can we get uh, you know uh, feedbacks uh, other from uh, pole dancers? So I invite everybody uh, to send us emails, uh, critics, uh, opinions, suggestions. Uh, Constructive. They, they, become, they become our, they become our, uh, they like it or not, they become our uh, development uh, team. So they are part of the team because every, uh, every opinion matters and we take it in our, you know, uh, engineering uh, shim and, and, and we try to create a, a, a best thing that we can. So that, that's very important for us. So please uh, do not hesitate to, to get us any, any kind of opinions, bad mm. or good. Of course, I like good, better, but. <laughs> yeah, I but I, I, like this is, this is true because um, like they have experience with me and I'm always like, when they like, okay, Marian, we have this product. I try it and I'm like, okay, this is not ready. And they always like, I know he's talk sometimes is like, La cramp. <laughs> but and and I and I say why it's not of course it's not like oh this is not ready and no I'm like this is what my I feeling I remember for example for the stage at the very beginning uh, just a quick example it was too stable which can sound weird but from our do you remember you stuck when I told you this I, I felt the platform was so uh, that I couldn't I, I think what I know I'm performing on the stage and it's not I have, I need a tiny oscillation. And this one, because it was so stuck, it was no oscillation and it was a very weird feeling for me. And I was like, I think it's not. And then I know his dog was like, mm. and then he went back to his studies <laughs> and, and they came out with this product that we are, I really love. But I say, we are not ready to launch because I don't, I don't feel 100% in that product. And they really, even though I'm not an engineer, I know he stock took in consideration and they say, okay, I'm going back to study. And he went back to study. It took another couple of months. And then finally we say, okay, now the product I try. Okay. Let's you know, the, the stage that we are, uh, just for information, the stage that we are now selling is the version 34. <laughs> That's because of you. <laughs> So 34 tests before the final one, 33 tests before the final one. <laughs> and nice. then the, first, the first one was 140 kilos. And uh, the last one is now at 68. So ah, that, wow. much easier to carry, I, I guess. Yeah, 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 oh, wow. for sure. For Amazing. sure. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Okay, uh, so I just want to move to some other questions. And um, for example, is there any grip that might ruin the pole as Marion shared a little bit her experience on what grip she uses? Is there any particular grip uh, that would ruin or just go inside the porosity of uh, the pole? Before, before you start, I'm go, I yeah. just have to, because I have to teach after, yes. so I got to be ready. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for having me. Thank you so much, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. Is talk, we talk, and Clotilde, we talk too. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for Thank sharing you. your experience. Bye-bye. Thank you. you. Ciao. Ciao. Yes. Okay. So, is talk. Just the two of us. <laughs> so again, uh, <laughs> is there uh, is there any grip that you would uh, recommend for the poles and other grip that you know that actually are just damaging the uh, the finishes or the material like itself on the long run? Well, we have uh, Lupit have our own. We have our own grip. Uh, mm -hmm. which is a little different than others. Um, of course, we would not launch it if it would ruin our poles. But other than that, the, I don't want to limit anybody 
to, to use any grip with our poles. Uh, our bearing system and then you know mechanical stuff is well robust and protected against this kind of uh, like dust or something like that. So it, it shouldn't affect the pole that would at anyhow, even even okay. the surface or no. I, I'm just okay. saying use whatever you think is best for your grip. And uh, on our post, I don't see any problems. That's perfect. Thank you for ask, uh, for answering that because I've heard many different, you know, churches, people that be like, no, liquid chokes, not at all because it will damage the pole. But if you say that it's it's fine, at least on loop it, it's, uh, it's super good to hear that because it's the most uh, common one. And uh, so I'm going to take go back to a question that was asked in the chat uh, by Laura Van. And uh, hi, I have a pressure pole that is uh, three meters and 80 centimeters. I don't want to over tighten the pole because I don't want to damage my new floor. Are there any options that help prevent damage to the floor? So we're talking about any uh, damaging on the floor. I guess also it depends on what floor you have. So there are maybe uh, some soft wooden floor that gets a lot like easily scratched. Uh, but if you have any tips or what's your uh, experience and point of view on that? Uh, first of all, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that uh, I got it. Uh, mm -hmm. which, which pole does she have? Like, is it is like a home pole or is is a, is a studio pole? I think a, ho a home pole, she said. Okay, a home pole that I don't see. Uh, what kind of flooring is it? Is this like a wooden? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. PVC. No, that, that, that shouldn't affect anything. The, if, if there is uh, below uh, the, the floor, if there's insulation, it could, uh, it could uh, bend a little your floor, but that's because it's soft, it's insulation. Uh, it, it can be prevented by uh, having a bigger lower disc. Normally it's a 100 and diameter of the lower disc is 120 millimeters. Uh, we also have available 200, which is uh, basically this size, okay? So it's like this. So it will have a little bit bigger surface to the floor. Uh, yeah. And that would mean uh, less like pointed pressures. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, my phone was just no wrong. Okay, she says thank you. So okay. that's, uh, yep. that's nice. Um, so yes, I'm gonna move to some last questions. And if anybody still has some curiosity, we can ask uh, it took to answer for, for us. Uh, but um, so talking about, let's say prices, ideal prices. Uh, because there are a lot of people that, especially like from zero, they'd be like, ah, I don't want to invest like in a good poll. So eventually they buy like the cheap ones and the, you know, like the quality, obviously it's kind of like, it is what it is. So <laughs> it's not made to be saved. They might, might buy it like on Amazon or whatever. So it might just fall off or uh, so how much should, should I pay for a home poll? Somebody is asking. Yeah, it's 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 not a really a question for me regarding this pricing and stuff like that because I don't want to uh, uh, to be biased here. Mm -hmm. So of course I would recommend look at Paul is the best Paul and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's not. I would say uh, make sure that the Paul that you buy has the real real. I mean the reviews from real people, from real dancers, mm -hmm. and the reviews are good. So that's my safety tip, I would say. Uh, and if if these products are like recommended by people that are professionals, that's even better. So yeah, um, uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's not like you know like a car. It's not like a car. You 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 don't want to buy a Ferrari when you just make your driver's license. So, yeah. uh, but but it's here is the safety. It's more mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to compare to, but 
uh, even even if you are just a beginner, you don't want to fall with a pole because it's really dangerous. Yes, it's really dangerous, and and the installation is important, and all of these kind of things. But I, I would say uh, when you're buying your your first pole, you it better be a good one mm -hmm. uh, for the safety reasons. You know, okay. also when you're falling, uh, you have people around. You know, maybe kids, maybe pets maybe some furniture that uh, it's, it's uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> expensive or uh, some, you know, art. So you don't want a pole to fall on any of them. Of course, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. And uh, one last question, and then maybe we can just uh, close uh, this uh, conversation or let uh, other questions, welcoming other questions in. Um, so any special tip when uh, somebody's like moving or they're moving their pole from one place to the other one, like um, they probably will have ch to check if they have to buy, I guess, an extension. Uh, anything again about the transportation of the of the pole? Uh, does the loop it comes like with a bag or something to transport it? Um, anything regarding uh, taking the pole down to another place? So, like, like we said, when you're taking it down, you go to the. You, may, you do it like on a reverse order uh, of installation. Uh, then, but, but when you're moving into a new place, you need to be sure what kind of place is this. So if, if the ceiling is okay, if the flooring is okay, if everything yeah. is level, uh, that, that's maybe more important uh, uh, than, than anything. Uh, but uh, of course, the, the ceiling height, if you need the uh, extension, you can buy it, or if you already have it, or, or maybe you don't need it anymore, if it's a lower ceiling. So all this, you just uh, use uh, the, the height calculator and see which parts you're going to need for the height, and then you go from there. Okay, perfect. And uh, I dropped in the chat uh, your the website of Lupit Paul and uh, the email that you gave us. Uh, also, so if anybody has like some extra technical question or you have questions about the, uh, the product that you find or about if uh, the product that you're choosing is suitable for your ceiling and your height or anything, I think they can reach for you. Uh, right, and also I think you're launching a new product, right? Do you want to add something about it? Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, yeah. special about it? Well, uh, maybe I can take uh, this opportunity to to make a little bit of uh, yeah uh, showing what, what we've done. It's uh, yeah. our uh, for our home poles, like it's uh, it's a quick lock for okay. uh, the, the whole line of G2 home poles. And it, it, it has all the features because we were developing this quite a long time. It has all mm. the same features. So it cannot unlock un unless you, you, you use this. Uh, both fingers, you press those two buttons and it change the, the, the clicks. So it's now it's on, on you spinning. See spin. You see the spin is really good. Yeah. And then, then you have to move uh, or again squeeze and and lock it in this position again. So it will nice. lock, and it's really safe. It's really quick. Yeah, it's quick and safe. It changes the choreography. It changes your how you how you use your your pole and. Yes, much, you don't nice. need any hex keys, anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, sometimes it's really like a really ineffective, like sometimes you get lazy, like on the long run, and you'd be like, oh, I don't want to just change and everything. But having the quick lock system, I think it's uh, it's always nice. Uh, wow, thank you for working uh, on that. We have, and we have also, I have to take the opportunity, we have also uh, some new products uh, from mm -hmm. Ariel. So you have this all these Ariel hoops from us and, and the, for the the whole set for home area. So for home, 
uh, yeah, hoop installation. So the yeah. ceiling mount, all these carabiners and the swivels and all, all the things that you need to start uh, your home uh, uh, LRT. Of course, the silks, but uh, uh, maybe maybe just to, to mention uh, that we are also entering, because our, our pole dancers, our ambassadors, our clients, uh, let's say, or our family is also um, into, into yoga. Mm -hmm. and many of them are also, you know, uh, doing fitness, uh, you know, lifting weights, stuff like that. So yeah. we are going to launch a couple of uh, new products for yoga. Mm. Ah, wow. And yes, it's going to be really, really, really nice. Uh, something mm. special that nobody saw. Uh, we developed it also with our ambassadors. And, okay. uh, and we have a really nice um, 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 weights, like, uh, you know, like uh, hand weights. Yeah. Uh, desi designers, more look, designer look. Uh, it, it's going to be quite exciting here for us. Nice. And, uh, Interesting. So, yes. Not only uh, straight pole, not only pole. <laughs> not only pole, but also things that will help polers to get better on the pole. So it's like a yoga, stretching, and and also uh, let's say not not too 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 much heavy weights, but yeah, the uh, classic dumbbells that the, everybody wanna wanna use to get a little bit stronger. Yeah. But okay. It, it's gonna be nice thing. Yeah. That's interesting. So this is my just curiosity question. So when it comes to let's say home hoops or home seals, uh, uh, it's generally speaking we have to apply more or less the same knowledge uh, of the home pole. So we have to check the ceiling in a certain way. Uh, so I guess more or less also the weight. Uh, is it the same maximum uh, maximum of uh, 200 kilos or something like that? Oh okay. yeah, um, yeah. That that's that's minimum. The, what what is required? But it's the installation we don't do, but we provide all the elements that are uh, needed for installation. So, uh, but then you, of course, again, the concrete uh, ceiling is the best, the safest thing. But okay. all the rest, uh, all the rest needs to be carefully considered when when you're installing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. We have a question from Minush. Minush. Um, I have a stage. Uh, the pole is two pieces. So the stage pole, I guess, is two pieces. When I want to abstract them, the washer is damaged, and I need new washer. Can you clarify uh, the question? Because I think. Yeah. Uh, I didn't quite get it, Minush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I understand. Um, um, you understand I me? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, you know. I do. Okay, yes, great. Yes, yes, so, uh, I'm listening. Thank you. If you great. need, just send me an email uh, uh, what you really need, some photos, and we'll send you the stuff. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. No Thank you. Uh, okay, so I think we're more or less at the end. I just want to ask, do you also sell uh, crush mats? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For people yeah. that maybe want to also have that uh, extra safety uh, gear in their in their home, because maybe definitely it's, it's something that you might want to consider if uh, you want to, you know, invert, but you're not safe, and you don't feel extra um, safe in doing that. Maybe you're learning from home. And, um, and also you want to try something really advanced and maybe you don't have anybody to spot you at your place. I think you will, uh, you sell crush mats, right? Too. Oh, yes. Uh, we have uh, different colors uh, of, of crush mats and different uh, thickness. So yep. we have eight centimeters and uh, 12. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, and in, in, in it goes it it's made of four pieces and they go around the pole uh, very easy they're easy to carry and uh, we use very good uh, materials for that so they just don't uh, break as easy so uh, we have uh, we have them in two uh, it's a standard line and we it's a premium line okay. and uh, 
uh, premium line has uh, double stitching and, and a little bit more uh, thick uh, basic material. But otherwise, uh, it's it, both of them are of very good quality. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much for this conversation, for this uh, more than an hour talk. I don't want to kind of like overload anybody with everything. I think we. We discussed a lot of things. We discussed about the safety, about the ceilings, about the products itself, so the materials, uh, how to take care of them and the space itself, how to set it up. So how much space you need to have in terms of like around and up and down. And uh, so thank you so much, so much for joining it talk and for giving us uh, your expertise and taking all the time to answer all the questions and I just wanted to drop uh, another thing for the girls so as uh, of uh, actually two things so one is that we of uh, the indie pool dance uh, we recently opened an online studio so if you have a home pool and you want to take classes I'm dropping in the chat the website but you can find us uh, find all the information on indiepooldance.com and you have more than uh, 12 classes per week and if you subscribe with a monthly or a yearly subscription it's just 22 euros per a week and you also can access the online uh, video library and the monthly workshop with pole stars and uh, something that it's really special it's a four week series uh, each month with a new guest instructor having said that the second amazing question is that for everybody um uh, as uh, Lupit and as uh, for this collaboration, we have uh, created something for you. So and, uh, we have an affiliate code that I'm gonna drop in the chat. So if you're interested uh, in buying any product uh, of Lupit, uh, you can get a 5% discount on the on their polls with the code in the poll five. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think that it's uh, uppercase or lowercase. I dropped it in the chat, any case. And I think it's pretty cool. So if you want to get a new poll, maybe the one with the quick spin uh, that it's so easy and, and new to try, uh, I think this is the perfect chance. Uh, I think I said it all. And <laughs> I'm going to close this uh, amazing chat. Again, thank you. Uh, it's it's okay and thank you everybody from the loopy team for organizing this and uh, for taking all the time and sharing all the information and being so amazing and lovely and uh, that that will be all from my side thank you very much uh, once again uh, and uh, thank you for listening i hope uh, we did something good here i'm open for uh, any uh, you know just send me email or contact me whatever so anytime okay amazing thank you, thank you so much thank you so much for everybody for joining and i'll see you next time ciao thank you see you